my cards and personal. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thanks for joining in. I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button down below. And if you have any questions or comments or things that you wanna see on this channel in the future, drop a comment down below because I would love to hear from you. Today, we are going to talk about how to pose clients in a button down shirt. So a lot of clients come with their husband's shirt and this is actually a suggestion that I give them in my wardrobe guide. So I tell them things that they can bring and almost everybody wants to bring something that belongs to their significant other. And a lot of times it's a button down shirt or a jersey. So today I'm gonna go over the button down shirt and then in an upcoming video, I will do the jerseys. I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes today, so stay tuned and let's go. You do things to me that I just can't describe. The way you say my name just makes me travel. Let's jump right into it. As always, I show my clients exactly what I want them to do. It's just easier than trying to tell them. Typically, I'll show them one to two poses all at one time and then remind them as we're shooting. So here is the first example of using the shirt and I'll play a little music now and check back in in a few moments. All of these poses here using the shirt can be done as implied nudes. For YouTube purposes, we use lingerie. However, I hope that you can see the inspiration here. I talk about this a lot in several of my other videos, but I'm going to mention it again. One of the things that I do is once I have my client posed, I will shoot 360 around them to get a lot of variety from that one pose. This is something super important and gives you lots of options to share with your clients. For all of my sessions, I do a mix of lighting. And for today's tutorial, I am only sharing the airy looking video and photos that I took, but I do love to get some dark and moody shots as well for every session, just so I can give my clients a really big variety of images. So just consider this when you're shooting, definitely try to do a mix of light. And if you look at some of my other tutorials here on YouTube, you can totally see that I give my clients a huge variety. Also check out my Instagram and you can see my mix of images there as well.
Don't forget to take detail photos throughout your shoot. This is great for your client's album, but also sometimes when a client will not allow you to use face photos, they will allow you to use detail photos. So this is great to use in your portfolio. Another tip, always ask your clients to point their toes and separate their knees and relax their hands. This is going to make for the most natural looking photos. Oh my gosh, y'all are gonna be so sick of hearing me say this, but I cannot reiterate this enough. Make sure that you shoot around your client once they're in a pose. Shoot from far back, shoot close up, shoot from the front, shoot from the back, shoot all around them. You're gonna get so much variety this way and they're gonna have so many choices. For those that don't know this already, I do shoot with a Sony mirrorless camera, which I am smitten with. I love my camera so much. I have been a photographer for over 20 years and I have shot with every type of camera you can imagine. I started out shooting medium format film and went to 35 millimeter, then switched to digital and have shot with Nikon, Canon, Olympus. So I've I'm serious, I'm shot with so many different cameras. But anyway, the great thing about mirrorless is that you definitely see what you get in camera. So you see if you're overexposing, you see if you're underexposing, which I really love because I'm able to get the look that I want without having to go back and forth and you know keep looking at my settings or worrying about what I'm getting. I'm just scrolling my dial and I'm getting the shot that I want and I am a bit of a lazy photographer so this is why I love it so much. But anyway I digress. I hope that you'll check out mirrorless if you don't already and nobody pays me to say this. I just love it that much.
understand that not every one of your clients will be able to do the poses that you show them. This beautiful young lady could not do the kneeling pose that I showed her. So we modified it so it's a little bit different and she could not also sit up on her knees so we modified that as well so keep that in mind you may need to modify some of your poses for your clients i've had plenty of clients that cannot arch their back and this is very common for some women they just cannot do it and that's totally fine you just need to modify the pose for them to fit what works for them Another tip, once you have your client in the pose that you want them in, have them do some subtle changes like the way that they have their hands, the way that they have their legs, with their eyes open, with their eyes closed, have them part their lips, do all these little things because it will also change the look of your photos and give you more variety. in mind is that you do not have to do specific poses when you're using a shirt. The whole thing is that you can always do any pose and throw a shirt into the mix and it probably will look spectacular. So just keep that in mind when you're posing your clients. If they do bring a shirt that they want some photos with, throw it in there and you can do it all different ways. Just think about that.
But anyway, I'm so grateful that you stopped in today to watch this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. I would love to hear from you. And I will post my Instagram right here and would love if you come over there and let's be friends. And if you enjoyed today's content, I hope that you will drop a like down below for me because I really appreciate it. And it helps me with the algorithm and helps me produce more videos like this one. So anyway, thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon. I do post a video every Monday and I also have some really exciting things coming up. I'm going to Europe for three months and I plan to shoot in Paris and a couple other fun places. So I hope that you'll stay tuned to watch those. I will be shooting outside on location and some beautiful indoor locations as well. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for stopping in and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, oh, hi there. What'd you think? <laughs> so <laughs> that's my shirt posing. What'd you think about it? Do you have any comments or questions? Draw them below. Cause I would love to hear from you. Seriously, drop them below. I'm ready to answer your questions. Hi friends, thanks for stopping in today. And that's not what I wanted to say. Ah. Do with a glance. <laughs> Does that sound weird? That sounds weird.